Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since my last video. I know I really need to get on top of things um, and know what I want to film and also when I want to upload. But I have been away for a couple of weeks and I'm back in my own space. I actually have a few packages that has arrived um, and today I want to show you two packages that arrived while I was away. So I actually bought a lot of skincare things and also some everyday um, makeup as well that I wanted to try out so I have two brands today I have the ordinary and also a few bits for revolution so if you want to know what I bought please keep on watching so I bought a few bits from The Ordinary. Um, so quick story time, I really wanted to buy the AHA30 plus BHA 2% peeling solution, which is that like vampire um, blood looking thing. And it was sold out on Beauty Bay Cloud Beauty or Cloud 10, I think. Um, and it was sold out everywhere just because everyone it was like so popular on TikTok that it was just sold out um, and I didn't know that I can actually buy directly from the Ordinary or the Decium website so I actually bought a few bits from um, Revolution which is like copies of the ones that I bought in the um, Ordinary but I will show you what I bought in the Ordinary first and then I'll show you a few bits that I bought from Revolution because I also bought a few bits of makeup as well so yeah, the first thing I bought was the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution um, and this is the bottle here. Um, basically, this is like really popular on um, Facebook. Now, I have no clue what I'm doing with the skincare stuff that I have. Um, I have really dry skin and I just want it to be more moisturized so I've heard and I read a lot of reviews as well that these things that I purchase is gonna help with my um, dry skin so wow. the first thing I really want to buy this anyway even though I'm not too sure it is for dry skin but it is good to have a peeling um, mask every like couple of weeks as well or every like once a week um, but yeah this is the one that I bought and it's so cool looking you guys it's like a blood red oh. I'm so excited to put this on my face I don't think there is a smell to it but yeah that's the first thing I bought and then I bought the glycolic acid 7% toning solution so you're supposed to use this for after you take off your makeup so it's basically like a toner um, and because it's an acid um, it's gonna be like a tingly um, thing on your face um, and it's supposed to balance out your pH um, but yeah I'm not too sure again I'm no face skincare expert I have literally just googled everything um, and also looked up everything in the ordinary website which is really good as well they have a lot of things on their website um, but yeah this is a toner um, and it's a really good price I think everything that I bought from Decium was like under 40 euros um, so yeah that's the thing so I'm gonna use this first and then the next thing that I bought was the hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 and this is supposed to be really good and really hydrating um, and this is what it looks like um, I actually tried this out last night and it is such a sticky like consistency on your face but it makes your face feel so hydrated and so good um yeah so that's that and then i also bought the niacinamide 10 percent and zinc one percent um and this is supposed to be good after the hyaluronic acid i think um but yeah i got this one it's really good for if you have um acne scares and if you have some breakouts as well for like spot yeah <laughs> i don't know um but yeah this is kind of watery as well um, got that and then the last thing that I bought from The Ordinary was the 100% organic cold 
press rose hip seed oil um, and this is really good to mix with your moisturizer um, or even just on its own at night time so when you wake up it's all like you know um, nice and dewy looking also you can wear this in the morning as well and um, so all of the stuff that I bought from the ordinary is um, you know for a nighttime routine there are a few bits that you can use for the morning I think you can use the hyaluronic acid one in the morning but I wanted to do a nighttime routine because I don't really do much in the morning and I wake up really early as well for work and um, but yeah this is the last thing that I bought and it is a rose hip seed oil and it's just basically oil um, and it smells amazing and it's supposed to make your skin super super dewy um, and yeah so these are the few bits that I bought from The Ordinary I'm super excited to try that out now I'm going to try this one out tonight um, and we I will get back onto you as well I am going to do like a um, skincare routine video so I want to give these like a full month try out to see what my skin is gonna look like and I will also video that to see if my skin got any better or if it got more hydrated as well so moving on to the revolution um, bits so I actually bought a few bits from revolution as well and um, so the first thing that I bought was the um, multi-acid peeling solution which is basically like the um one that i bought in the ordinary so i actually bought everything from the revolution first and because it was sold out everywhere and i didn't know that i could buy things directly from the desiem website so i actually purchased this first um and then i purchased the ordinary um so this was the this is the revolution version of um that face mask um i think it is basically the exact same things but this one is not as red as the one from the ordinary um but i think basically everything in this is the exact same things and the things with the ordinary and also with revolution is that a lot of their things are vegan and cruelty free as well which is really fab um and then the next thing that i bought was a five percent caffeine solution plus hyaluronic acid um which is basically the same as the hyaluronic acid it with on the ordinary one um this one just has five percent caffeine um, i'm not too sure but i heard that this is really good for like your under eyes if you want to like look more awake um but yeah i'm gonna probably try out the ordinary one all over my face and then use this for under my eyes um and yeah that's it and then the next thing i bought was the stabilized active collagen one um and also it looks like this um this is supposed to be really good for firming your skin um and just making you feel like a baby's bum um yeah and then i got a vitamin c serum and 12.5 percent vitamin c um and i'm like vitamin c is supposed to be really really good for your skin as well so this is a cool bottle it comes like this and it actually comes in a pump so it looks like that um i'm not too sure when you're supposed to use this either in the am or pm but definitely i will be doing an update on all of the skincare stuff on a separate video and um, once i do try everything out and learn more about it because i have just purchased everything where i thought would be really good for my dry skin um, and the last thing that i bought was a um, super fruit extract um and it is basically like a, a primer um and this is what it looks like i'm gonna try this out as a primer before i do my makeup i didn't try this out today but it looks super nice like and yeah so that is all of my skincare stuff and i actually went to range last yesterday um, and i bought this little organizer it's supposed to be for like you know spoons and forks and stuff but i have put all my skincare things there and i'm gonna put this in the bathroom so on to all of the makeup stuff that i purchased um i purchased a few things as well from revolution that i wanted to try out um and a lot of them are makeup bits as well so so the first thing i purchased was the hydrate and fix um radiance makeup fixing spray and it is long wearing oil control with hyaluronic acid so 
this is what it looks like let's have a look to see what the spritz is like oh it smells funny Hmm, it smells like, I don't know, it smells, it smells like nail polish. I don't know if I like that now, but it's supposed to have hyaluronic acid, so I'm super excited to try that out. Um, next thing that I, I bought is a soap styler, um, and it looks like this. So... I usually do my eyebrows like this I haven't done or tried you know the soapy or feathery looking eyebrows I don't know if it's gonna look good on me but we'll see so this is what it looks like and it comes with comes like this and it comes with a little spoolie brush so you're you can just like this and do your eyebrows um but yeah i'm super excited to try that out and see what i'm gonna look like with feather brows and um, the next thing that i bought was this bronzer um because i wanted a bronzer but like i didn't know that this is gonna be this big. no like, no 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 <laughs> massive what the hell? Um, and I got it in the shade 02 in warm. Um, I didn't even realize that it was going to be this big. I thought it was literally going to be like this small. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to try that out. Um, and then I also bought this um, Revolution Conceal and Define. So the last time I purchased this one was the hydrating one. And I didn't really like that one. It was... It wasn't as full coverage as I wanted it to be um, and also it, I found it caked up under my eyes as well and um, so this one I'm actually wearing today and I it's super good I think it's really hydrating it hasn't creased my under eye um, but yeah it's super good I can't wait to you know wear this for a long time and actually try it out with other bits as well um, the next things that I bought are the makeup sticks. So Revolution actually has really good makeup sticks. Um, I bought the shade F4 and F12, which is actually too light, the F4 for me, because I wanted to use this as a foundation. Um, but I think the F4 is a bit too light for my skin. And I bought the F12 as well to do some contouring with and this these are the two shades so this is the f4 and it's definitely definitely too light to put all over my face um so i'm gonna order a darker shade just to use as foundation it's super good if you have dry skin the only thing is that it does get really oily after a couple of hours that i found as well but it's super good and um, the next things that i bought was a these two things um it is a cheek and a lip duo and it's so cute so it looks like this and let me just show you what it looks like so there's the pink one and then this is a illuminating stick so it's basically like a highlighter and let me show you what that looks like wow super nice so like i wanted to do a makeup look with just sticks um but unfortunately this one is too light so i will order a second one um and then the last few bits i bought things for my eyebrows um this is a Oh, it's like a, um, this is an eyebrow tint. So I usually use the Maybelline um, eyebrow tint. Um, it looks like this. And basically you put this on for a couple of minutes and then you peel it off. Um, I do like the um, Maybelline one. I am going to try this out and let you guys know. And then I also bought a new um, eyebrow pencil. Oh my God, this is so tiny. So this is the pencil, literally so tiny, and it comes with a tiny spoolie, um, like, that's tiny. Um, so I did buy a 
eyebrow brush the last time and I found it was too chunky for my eyebrows. I wanted one more precise so I'm super excited to try this out. Definitely um, will try it out once I have tinted my eyebrows and then be able to like just fill in the sparse. Okay and the last few bits that I purchased were some lip liners because I'm obsessed with lip liners and I will show you the shades. So these are the three shades that I purchased. Um, it is in the shade Fling, Heart Race and Chauffeur and these are the last few bits. So that is everything that I have purchased from The Ordinary and Revolution. For the skincare things, I do want to do a separate video um, trying that out. I do want to try it out for a couple of weeks um, and then do a final opinions and do um, like a recommendations video of what works well on my face and what could work well on your face if you do have some dry skin as well and um, for the makeup that I have just purchased let me know if you want me to do a separate video to try them all out and yeah I hope you like share and subscribe this video if you like these types of videos let me know in the comments down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time